all right everybody here's our second uh video there we have one more story from this book here called once there was a story tales from around the world perfect for sharing collected and written by jane yolen the final story i think most of us have heard of it's the tortoise and the hare this story is from greece it is also called an aesop fable um so here we go once upon a time, there lived a hare who was extremely proud of his speed. He boasted about it whenever he could. Watch me go, he'd say. No one can beat me. Soon, no one wanted to be hare's friend. Tortoise was slow, maybe the slowest animal there was, but he was the only one to speak up. Prove it, he said in his slow way. Let's race. Hare smiled. Hare giggled. Hare laughed in a huge and nasty way. Race you? Why, you're the forest slowpoke, Mr. Get There Tomorrow. Fast talk is not fast walk, said Tortoise. So with the help of the other forest folk, they fixed a time and place for the race. When the day came, it was sunny. Everyone was there to watch. Hare and Tortoise got to the starting gate at more or less the same time. Hare a bit early and Tortoise a bit late. The starter's gun went off and so did Hare. Tortoise did some deep knee bends to warm up. And in that minute, Hare had raced out of sight. Looking back over his shoulder, Hare realized that Tortoise was not following him. So he decided to take a nap, even with a nap, I'll still be a lap ahead, he thought before he fell asleep in the sun. Tortoise was slow, but he was steady, putting one foot in front of the other foot in front of the other and the other. He made his careful way round the track. When he came to the first bend, there was Hare, fast asleep. Tortoise tiptoed around him, one foot in front of another, in front of another and another, till he was out of sight. Later that afternoon, Hare woke up from his nap and looked back down the road toward the starting gate. Tortoise was still nowhere to be seen. Ha ha ha, said Snare. No tortoise anywhere. What a plotter. He got up, stretched, and began to run. He ran fast. He raced the wind. His ears nearly pinned back against his head by his speed. But when he went around the final bend in the track, what should he see but Tortoise about to cross the finish line? Hare stepped up the pace. He was a whoosh and a rush, but he couldn't get there in time. That was how Tortoise won the race, and Hare could never again boast about his speed. Slow and steady sets the pace. Slowpokes all can win the race. All right, so that was some good stories from around the world. Our final book today is called How to Catch a Tooth Fairy by Adam Wallace. This one is super fun, I'm ready for it. How to Catch the Tooth Fairy by Adam Wallace. All is quiet, all is still. The clock shows 309. The bell goes off, I'll go to work, cause now's my time to shine. I'm the Tooth Fairy, yes I am, and every single night I collect 300,000 teeth while staying out of sight. My travels take me far and wide. My life is such a blast, but please don't try to catch me for I really much too fast. Nancy Catton's, I recall, an important rule. When you are taking someone's tooth, watch out for all their drool. Johnny Withers sets a trap. He wants me in a box. I'll take his tooth and then for fun, I'll hide all of his socks. Fairy catcher.
cotton candy? Love the stuff, but I won't try to eat it. Every trap that's set for me is sure to be defeated. Julie has a good idea. A trap made out of floss. I'll get her tooth, then leave a coin to pay her for her loss. As I fly to Taylor's, I notice something scary. But once I've tied it all in knots, I'm feeling rather merry. Tooth Fairy Trap. This trap is good, I'm quite impressed. It nearly did me in, but I've got golden fairy dust. I'll never let you win. Tooth Fairy Review, achoo! The ooey gooey catapult fires marshy mallow yum. It doesn't catch me but it does just slightly stick my bum. The lights are off in Sarah's room and traps are everywhere. I'll need to do my fairy best to fly safe out of there. Click. Now, Sanjeev is creative. He's made a special cage. Am I no more? Is this the end? You'd better turn the page. And then at last I'm home again. The teeth are safe and sound. The kid who'll catch me in a trap is still yet to be found. Can you catch the tooth fairy? All right, so that's our last story. I have one craft that I'm just gonna show you what I did, and then I have another that I will explain step by step how to do. So I have this tube and I glued eight legs on it or taped them. And then you get a plate and put paint on it and then dab it in. And then you have spiders. And then you draw the eyes and you can draw patterns in here if you want, but that's all you do, super easy. And this tube also is in your craft kit that you get when you sign up. Okay, so the next one that we're gonna do is an actual tooth fairy. So what you need to do is draw a tooth. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just have fun. Draw a tooth, and then you draw the face and the eyes and whatever else you want, and then you cut it out. And then you need some wings, and you color those in and you need some sort of skirt or pants and color it and you cut this all out when you're done coloring and a crown and you color it and cut it out and then you glue it all together and you've got a cute little tooth fairy and i made a boy one too and you can have pants or a skirt or or nothing if you don't want anything, or you can make it however you like. This is just the way I did it. And like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect, just have fun. You can also make a crown, because those are fun too. All right, thanks for watching, bye.